What's going on, folks? It's K Spade the Prospect. I'm back today with a very important video, man. If you're a pro am player, you're probably gonna want to check this out. For your viewing pleasure, in the background, I got some NBA 2K17 Pro Am walk on gameplay. Shout out to various members of the Wolfpack. I tweeted out, these guys showed up. We had a pretty good round, we had some fun. For your listening pleasure, though, I want to talk about this absolute bomb that 2K dropped on us around midnight Wednesday night, or should I say Thursday morning. Let me get into it. I, I, this video not very long, y'all, so I can't BS around. We got to dive right into it. I'm talking about NBA 2K E League. This sounds crazy. First of all, let's kind of rewind back. If you don't know about esports, I'm going to sum it up real quick for you. You take the best gamers in the world and you put them in a, in a realm where they can compete and because the competition is so high level it draws interest from other people to watch and I don't care what your talent is if you can make a product that other people want to watch it's an opportunity to make revenue there in short that's what esports is in short right it's the highest level of gamers competing at a level so high that other people want to watch it esports has been around for a while the shooters kind of own this realm and some other games look clickety mouse hit people with those games been around for a while don't let the word sport in esports fool you sports games are kind of late to the party ea sports kind of threw their hat in the ring with madden madden is definitely trying to you know get their boot print in the mud out there with esports and the nfl is somewhat partnered with ea sports to bring this to an even bigger audience it can be streamed you can see it on tv now and the best madden players they're becoming household names when 2k started to throw that hat in the ring with esports not this year, but last year with their road to the finals. It was a pro-am tournament set up for some of the best pro-am players in the world. It had its flaws, but everyone saw the potential and everybody felt like, oh man, if you look out there, the future looks bright. That's what everybody did, right? Well, the future might be a little bit closer than we thought. I got some news right here. I'm going to break it down. I got some good and some bad. I'm going to tell you why you should get excited, but why you should probably hold your horses a tad bit, okay? Let's get into it. First of all, my phone is going off going crazy shout out to the homie LaParis he hit me up and says Spade you see this 2k news I'm like nah like it's kind of late you know your boy thinking about taking it down he says check Twitter I check Twitter everybody's going crazy I go through and I read the article I'm reading the tweets and I'm like you know what somebody's gonna have to come out here and speak the gospel to these guys and I'm looking around I don't see nobody better for the job than your boy here I am NBA 2k E leagues what does this mean what is this what's an E league 2k and the NBA has partnered to bring us what sounds like a dream come true for NBA 2K players. We're talking about teams that's going to be represented by actual NBA affiliations. You could possibly be like a division of the Miami Heat or whatnot. And you will play for a team represented by this NBA team. You will play leagues, 82 game seasons, playoffs with actual awards and prizes and a possible salary. I was going to say an actual salary. Possible salary sounds dream come true let's dive into the specifics though the best thing about esports when it come over to sports gaming is the fact that it's new it has potential and people with big wallets who don't necessarily know much about gaming probably gonna want to throw their hats in because they're looking at return on investment let me tell you why it's also scary because it's new and people with big wallets who don't really know much about gaming probably want to throw their hat in for a return on investment. What I'm saying is anything that's new and has potential, it's probably going to have some hiccups along the way, some stumbles, might even fall, might even crash, might even crash and burn. I'm not saying that this is going to crash and burn. I'm saying the potential is there. Don't fool yourself and only look at the potential of greatness. I hope it's great. We all hope it's great. But the potential could go either way. Settle down. There's people on my timeline talking about, I can't wait to text my mom and tell my mom I'm, I'm going pro. I'm going to be playing. For hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, this great mode that we all are excited about, including myself, is scheduled to debut in 2018. That could mean one of two things. The next NBA 2K title is going to come out toward the end of this year, 2017. It's going to be called NBA 2K18. So what happens is maybe that game sits around for a while, to give players time to learn the ins and outs of it and then they hit us with this in 2018 maybe around the all-star break or something like that could also mean that it's gonna take a while to get this thing set up and maybe this whole thing launches with NBA 2k 19 maybe let's just think about it that's the first thing we don't know we don't have a date we don't even have a quarter it just says debuts 2018 that's a long window long window 
That's first. The next thing is people's like, man, check this out. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. I'm going to go ahead and start practicing now. Sounds good. Somebody said, but hold on, guys. Slow down. They're talking 30 teams, only five players per team. Well, that's very smart, but read the article. It says it's going to start with eight to 12 teams. Eight teams. We're talking the best 40 players in the world. We all think we're pretty nice at 2K. I think I'm pretty damn good at the game myself. But do I think I'm top 40? I absolutely know I'm not top 40. Chances are most of you aren't top 40 either. It says it's going to start with 8 to 12 teams and eventually expand to all 30 teams. But here's the key. I got the keys, keys, keys. NBA owners are going to be allowed to build at their own pace. Which means that it don't, it's not a given that all 30 teams are going to be alive and popping in 2018, 2019, or even 2020. So here's what I expect. Those owners who are a little bit more risky with their money will probably jump out the gate, want to be ahead of the curve, want to get in there early. Those cautious owners are going to say, let me sit back and make sure these fools ain't burning their money up first before I put my money in it. You better believe it's going to be some people that are sitting back like, hold on, let's wait a minute. So let's suppose we go with an 18 league for a year or two. Another area for concern is the way these players are going to be selected. They're not going to take the best team. They're not going to take one of these leaderboard teams and say, boom, you are you are the Atlanta Hawks eSport team. That's not what they're doing. They want to select players individually through a virtual combine. I don't know if this is going to be a feature they're going to put in the game. I don't know how it's going to work. But I don't know that I can even fathom a combine, a virtual combine, that does a good job of selecting who's a good pro-am player. I don't know. What is it going to be, a dribble drill and a three-point contest with nobody in front of you? I look like a god in that drill. Who's going to help them select? Now, it says um, NBA teams and take two. Somebody from take two. So I don't know if 2K has a, a person that's designated to watch over the community. I, I don't know how they're going to select this. You're going to take some tightwad in a suit that don't even play games. He's going to choose the best gamers. What is he looking for? Like, got to be concerned about that. Got to be concerned about that. I do want to tell you this, though. Here's why you should be excited about it. The fact that it's a return on investment means people with long wallets are going to get into it. But they are going to be watching. So these first eight teams, they are critical. If you guys come out and make this exciting, I'm saying you guys because I'm already knowing your boy ain't going to make I mean, I'm going to try out. No, I don't know if your boy ain't going to make it. But these first eight teams, you guys hold a, the fate of this thing in your hands. You guys are super important. You got to make this exciting for you guys. You got to make other people want to watch. So it can't, I mean, can it just be eight teams or five outs and cuts to the basket? How, how often are we going to want to see this? For 82 games a season, is it going to be a situation where nobody gives a damn about the regular season, but we all tune in for the playoffs? Come on, let's be real. We don't even watch college basketball during the regular season. We don't tune in to the March Madness. Be for real. And I ain't talking about future songs, but that would make it better. Anyway, so what I'm telling you guys is this. Those first eight teams are going to be crazy important. They hold a fate to this whole thing in their hand. This thing could blow up and be huge. It could crumble away and die in a couple of years. And for everybody telling me how great it sounds, I know it sounds amazing. And I'm excited that 2K as a visionary can even see this far in the future and take this to the NBA and sell it to the NBA enough that they can look and see into the future. I love that. But let's be honest. Didn't Park After Dark sound lit when you first heard about it? Was it lit when you went? Just being honest, man. Somebody got to be honest out here. One other thing that I want you guys to think about before you get too hyped. It's a quote toward the end of the article, right? They got this guy, let me get his name right, I don't want to lie. So they got this guy, Ryan McCaffrey. He's an executive at Image Games Networks. He's got this quote right here. There are risks. There will be risks. But if it works, it will pay off enormously, not necessarily for the financial in the short term. What he's basically telling NBA teams is that financially you're going to lose on this right here. The return on investment is not going to come back quick. It's going to take some time. How long of a leash do NBA owners give this thing if it's not giving them a return on investment? Just something to think about, man. This is what I do. I'm a big time fan of this, even if it fails. And I don't, I look, let me make sure I make it clear. I hope it succeeds. I hope it's wildly successful. But if it does fail, man, I salute 2K for the vision. It takes visionaries to move things forward. 
even if this fails, it could open the door for a successful lead like this later in the future. So whoever came up with this, man, salute to you. I'm going to definitely be watching. I'm going to try. You know, shit. Why not? I'm going to try out. But at the end of the day, man, everybody talking about hitting their mom up, telling their mom got drafted. We starting off with 8 to 12 teams. That means we talking that the best 8 point guards in the world at this. Oh, and Adam Silver was on ESPN and said this thing is global. So if you thought it was just for the U.S., you're wrong. He's talking about the best players in the world. The 8 best at each position at the world. Chances are, man, you probably got better odds at hitting your local lottery. Anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You did do me a favor, drop that like. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. What you waiting on? You don't sit here and watch the whole video. You might as well hit it. That's all I got for today, folks. I am out the next time, y'all.